Hello and welcome back to another episode of Planet Coaster. We're pretty much just going to keep expanding, um, get down a good base for our park, and hopefully if we start to generate enough money, we will start sort of decorating up this area here and maybe do some terraforming. So at the end of last episode, we added in these uh, stalls here and hired some staff. So those should be just fine for what we have now. And then just going through some of these other tabs. We don't need security yet. Um, our new ride is doing very well. We might even be able to continue increasing the price. It looks like everything else is doing good. It looks like we need to place a staff building. So let's get one of them in. Let's see. I guess it, I guess it'd be staff management. Yeah, let's take this one, this blueprint, and if we can find the entrance. Let's put it back here. It doesn't really need to be anywhere in the open, but. There we can sort of hide it by some trees and give it a bit of privacy. We'll bring it out here. We'll sort of wind it into this path here. So hopefully, once we decorate this area, this isn't going to be sort of an eyesore. We'll be able to cover that up pretty well. Now going back in here, we don't we're not really big enough to start a marketing campaign. We don't really need it. We could start some research though. If we wanted to research some things. Although that might get a bit expensive. But if we just do stuff like this down here we should be fine. And then a quick look into our finances. And it looks like we did make money in the last month. The rest of these was pretty much probably because of construction. But we're going well. Let's adjust some of these closing times. I think Probably a 9 o'clock or a 10 o'clock closing time. Sounds about right. And that's all we'll change there for now. So I think our first priority is to get a second ride in here somewhere. So let's extend this path a few more clicks. And then I think we should maybe branch branch it out a bit so that we get some variety in our park layout. We don't want just a main straight path that goes through the entire area. So maybe maybe somewhere in here is where we get our main sort of feature. I think a lot of places have like a fountain or something like that. It'd be a big fountain. And then that's where all the paths sort of branch off. So let's see if we can try to get something like that in here. All right, so we have this circle here. I think it looks pretty good. And then once we have the money to comfortably terraform, we'll sort of 
indent this center area and fill it with water. Maybe put a nice mountain. Maybe we do something entirely different with it. Maybe we make this a hill and put a bunch of trees and flowers and bushes. We'll figure out what to do with that at a later time. But for now, let's let's try to get a ride in here. We did have to take out a loan while we were doing that. And we don't exactly have that much money for anything else. Because we do want a ride that will still give us pretty decent stats. I think we might go with this teacups ride. The excitement's very low. But there's not much we can really do about that. And how about we sort of tuck it back a little bit behind these buildings? Yeah, let's do that. So now we gotta place our entrance and exit the entrance we'll put over here and the exit we'll try to bring off about as straight on as we can there and now we just connect this so again we'll try to do a sort of a windy connection so that we can get a lot of people in this queue. Again, we're out of money, so we might just have to speed this up and wait a few seconds. If we can get any money to come in, we might want to start charging a small amount for people to come into the park. We could also take another loan. I'm going to take another loan. We're going to take this really small loan here. And hopefully we will be okay with that. Alright, so there's the, the queue path. And now the exit. That lines up pretty good. And we can open this ride. Charging 450 for it, that's fine. Not much we can customize on this. But this will be this will be good for now. So now like I said before, I think we can start to charge a little bit for the park, maybe one or two dollars, and then family. Yeah, one dollar per child, standard two dollars. And that'll be good. Hopefully that won't deter too many people from coming in. I'm going to come back here and keep increasing the price on that. So while we let that go, we can start decorating this whole area. We're going to do sort of something similar to over here, just a lot of trees and rocks. Maybe we'll do some, some terraforming. And we might start to even put stuff around the ride itself.
So I suppose we'll have to stick with this for now because we've again run out of money. And I think that's largely because this ride broke down. So wherever our mechanic is, hopefully he's... I think he just fixed it now. Let's increase the inspection time to every 20 minutes. And it looks like it's fixed. So we have people coming into the line now. And we have a ton of people waiting here. We could probably up this price by 50 cents. So we lost a lot of money there because the way the game works is when a ride breaks down, it refunds everyone in line their money. So when it breaks down, we lose like a thousand dollars because the game gives all that money back to the guests. But we should start to see our money go back up now that this ride is back up and working. And we should be able to get back right back into adding scenery. So, this sort of entrance queue looks good at the moment. And if we look at our senior scenery rating, it has gone up a little bit. We're at 36%. That could be much higher, but for now that's fine. This helps increase our prestige so we can then charge more money and attract more guests with it. So I think we need to hire one more vendor because we got that notification that no one was in there. And I think they sort that all out themselves. I don't think there's anything we have to do, like scheduling. And now, while we have a little bit of money, let's make this fountain that we were just talking about. All right, so we have this uh, large water fountain feature at the end of our entry walk. You can see we added some uh, water spouts and surrounded it in rocks. And then along the path edge, we put some flower bushes and we sort of broke it off into thirds and made each third its own color. So I think this is a good start. Um, from here, 
we can start to branch off. We can have a path come out to the left, um, another one come out to the right, and then maybe we have one that comes into this area here where sort of our main sort of centerpiece of the park would be, which will probably be like a big mountain or something along those lines. So as the beginning sort of continues to be a bit slow as our money isn't going up too fast, you can see we are making a profit, but it's a bit slow. So we'll get there now that we have two rides open. Uh, maybe next time we'll put in some more shops and stalls over here and add another ride or two. Um, so the main thing we need to focus on is research, which we just unlocked a new shop. But really, we need to start unlocking these rides. So we'll start one now. Um, I think we'll go with this one, Twist and Spin. It is 500 a month, but it'll be worth it with the people it will bring in. Bring in. So that'll be, that'll be all for this episode. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions or feedback, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.